everybody welcome back to the show so uh, it's a lot to unpack in this uh, season four premiere So right here in the first four minutes of the show, we got this, I don't know the African guy's name, but uh, I think he might be another inside man for Tariq. I had a feeling that Effie was going to be playing both sides. I predicted that a while ago. Like, we can't have like, everybody turn against him. So I'm like, every year someone's got to be on the inside. Ain't Gary Diana, ain't Food Loop Drew, so it's got to be a figure. It's part of the plan of what he got out of jail, so. But like the most, there's no time jump. This is like right after the season three finale. There is so much going on in this. So in this scene here, we see that three putting his plan in motion. And uh, it's only like a good plan to start off, but those something that was wrong. Look, I'm gonna have eyes on Lane's daughter on that idea. Listen, man, an hour ago I had everything set for me. All right? Life, school, my family, they say fuck about. We take her and we take the upper hand. That's it. Wait, what? You know that's a fucking crazy, right? You asked for a plan B. That's a fucking plan. Okay. Where's Anya? There's so much. Uh, this scene. He's like, you got out smart them. Very uh, Tommy and Ghost type of shit right there. I love the way it's right now. Right this is crazy. <laughs>
So we're going to break this episode down. So this scene pretty much establishes that Tariq has no allies. <laughs> he has no allies besides Brayden. See, Tom is in Chicago. Goats is gone, supposedly. Two bit. He can probably be smart enough. He could probably get two bit on this side. I can see him turning the Jihadis against each other with everything he knows about the Monet incident. He's never going to give his mother away because Tasha's going to shot her. But see, there's the thing: Ghost always had plan. He was very strategic in how he handled his situations, how he handled his enemies. Unfortunately, Tariq is not on that level. I don't think he's really going to be on the level. He's going to be doing his own thing naturally. He's his own character. I don't need him to be ghost, but he's gonna have to at least acknowledge some of what ghost did back in the day. Because there's a thing about ghost, right? Ghost never starts no wars. Not a war, not a war he couldn't win. It's like when he was messing with um, the Hamera, I think I recall. He always found a way to strategically take out his enemies, whether it meant turning them against each other or learning something about them and using them against them. That was always his play. You know, I still think that Nuri Diana needs to go first because she's the most manipulative. Her and Fouquet Drew were probably the worst out of, out of the four of them. Kane has always wanted to beat Tariq. I know he hates Tariq. He just hates that Tariq is better. That's what he hates about him. <laughs> so, I can almost see Tariq turning Kane into an ally, maybe. Like, because, you know, in season six, after Vincent and Tariq were working together to get the Tricos, Tommy, and Tasha, and they give them like a gazillion dollars. Ghost corners him again later in the season, and uh, he had a gun to his head, but then he decided to instead use his resources to get up to someone on the inside and in, in jail on the inside. So that's the type of thing that Ghost did. Use it for what you can do for him. And if you outlive your usefulness, finally get ready. That's what he did with Dre. <laughs> didn't need Dre no more. Dre wasn't doing anything useful for him. So he found a way to get rid of him. And what a way he went. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm afraid I thought he won, but it was one in the end. See, that trailer show to read with the gun and Dirty Diana, and uh, she's got to go. She's probably the worst of all of them. <laughs>
See right here, we got this has got to be one of Tommy and Go's stashes throughout the city. Tasha probably told him about it. That's my assumption. Tasha's not even in this episode. Yeah. Yeah, because Tommy and Ghost, they had stashed it all across the city. Because, uh, well, they had a lot of enemies, and uh, <laughs> we got repaired. Or at least, at least to reach out of this. But, um, you're gonna need, you're definitely gonna need allies. I know people are gonna compare these two Tommy and Ghost. They're not quite on that level. I can see Tariq being a little more ruthless than Ghost. Ghost took people down when he had to, when he thought it was absolutely necessary. Tommy is a straight up savage. Tommy don't care. <laughs> Tommy just got a little screw up there. But uh I mean, Raiden's not quite there yet. Raiden is Raiden. I don't think it's fair to compare him to Tommy. Tommy's on a completely, completely different level. He's got years more experience in the field and the streets. Same with Ghost. Three can a three can street. I don't think he's going to be Ghost, but unfortunately, it looks like he's going to have to turn, at least partially turn into him in order to survive. So I think that's an interesting twist. Become the person, become the person he despised. And when we get to the um, part where he kills Junior, almost like that was a straight up revenge. Terry hated, he hated Andrew. <laughs> That's why Trigger Gun took her gun because he wanted to make it look like crap. We hated her from the beginning. It's, like it's funny, right? Because this is Angela's nephew. This guy decided to investigate the wrong person because he didn't know anything about the Rick and his family. The moment he found he was a prosecutor, he's dead. <laughs> Same thing with that stupid professor that was going to write a book about him. So you're like, sorry, can I write that book? Because if he actually knew anything about Tariq, he wouldn't have suggested in the first place. 
and this guy. Just like Angela, yeah, so doggone nosy. Like I figured, I figured that uh, F would be on the inside. It's probably the only one I can drink at close enough to King and keep his ass subdued, I guess. There's no word. Keep him subdued long enough to uh, keep him moving through. I want to stay. And again, this is probably the plan to reconnect if he had really got out of jail. Because as soon as they get the campus and they got that John Wick hit on them, she sends Vanessa West. I'm like, huh, I knew it. I knew she was playing both sides. And I don't I, I got this feeling I don't think she's gonna make it out this season. But if Kane puts two and two together, she's probably going to be able to save her in time. I don't think she's gonna make it out this season. I'd be surprised if she does. You open the door like bam. <laughs> now this part here from one day was kind of interesting, I thought. She's seeing herself like in the afterlife or something, I guess. Yeah. Nerd Diana is crazy, but 
Drew is probably 10 times worse because he gets over emotion. That's what makes me more dangerous. So when she left uh, Becca in the car with him, I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> I, like, I thought he was going to kill her. Fortunately, she got away. I'm just kind of glad that she got away. I saw some theories saying he might kill her. The range can go savage. I'm like, he kills a great sister, and he might try to turn to top. <laughs> might still happen. Know what the, they know where the Westons are, so. I love this part right here. To the classic Tommy and Ghost. You can have Tariq even got the hat. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Love it. This part is kind of funny. When he opens the door, Kane's like, boop.
that I go, I call the cops. We won't tell the cops anything. I'm kind of shocked Kane let them go. I'm shocked. I mean, if Effie wasn't there, I wonder what would have happened. And I think maybe Tariq made sure to shoot on the inside to make sure it doesn't go crazy. Just to keep him, like I said, keep him some dude. Yeah, but this is when it's just started to really, really start to cook in this season premiere. Damn shame, this is the last season, but at least if it goes out strong, can't have too many complaints. Wish not. <laughs> the thing that you should have told this kid, this crazy, <laughs> over emotional dude, that, you know. <laughs> I'm so glad she gets away. I'm just like, 
Damn. Was there any other situations you would just sign her death warrant? Drew Gachi. Yeah, it's not very comforting. <laughs> I'm kind of curious what else they got to do for Monet on this season or in this series. What if Killing Rod was just probably the smartest idea? I kind of feel bad for Angela's sister. What's her name? Paz? Yeah. She never should have let her son get into that same line of work Angela did. Should have put him in school or something. She's just as nosy as Angela was. I don't know what happened to her. Go for the spray. <laughs> well, I thought it was gonna I thought it was gonna catch out there and kill. Gonna break.
Never sorry. Like, I wonder if Filthy made this happen. It's like, I don't think it's a coincidence he announced that Power Origin series. So I think the way Tariq is acting right now, similar to what Rose was like as a kid, we won't know until the series comes out. Telling he's going to turn the eyes against each other, and then they're going to take each other out. That's exactly what Ghost would have done back in the day. Ghost only used the weapons when he had to. And like Tom was told to reek in the season three finale, like, you're all in, you're all out. So you're all in, you're gangster. Can't be both. It's like Tariq is choosing to be a gangster. I think Tariq's gonna have another dream sequence like this with Ghost. I think that's how he comes back. So this target, Tariq and Brayden got on their backs, reminds me of John Wick. <laughs> they're all in bounty hunters coming out for his ass. Kind of similar. I thought there were going to be more than just two extra bounty hunters. I mean, this is why Effie staying close to Kane. Keep him going, keep him mid 
go in the wrong direction, all that type of stuff. I was too excited to go to a freaking dorm room. Yeah, here we go. So I mean, that's the worst right now. Noose on the inside. One thing I'll say about Drew, he's not as annoying as Angelo was. Still.
I think Trick's next move is the romance Noma's daughter. To get more information about her. Take her down home with him. Saw some pictures of him and the and what's her name? I forgot the kid's name already. <laughs> Anya, I think I said. I think her name is Anya. So I think that's his plan. <laughs> Jeez. I know he's going to drop on bodies. This saves him, man. This is. Now he can potentially be even more ruthless than Ghost ever was. Maybe because he has to be. But that was kind of like. That was more of a Kanan move, I guess. Thing I was being honest, nothing more can thing. I don't think Ghost would have killed this kid. Can would, and that's yeah. This is definitely more of a can move. More think about it. Can was ruthless. Ghost, Ghost always knew where to draw a line. Can was ruthless. Kane chasing after him with a broken arm. <laughs> See, he's using the information he got against him. Trying to convince Drew to go out to his own brother. That's a ghost thing. A shooting Junior, that's a Canaan move, for sure. You know, Tommy would have taken all of them out by now. <laughs> so. Cancel Christmas on my asses. <laughs> I run over with the car. <laughs>
those big ass campus you just don't get in there. <laughs> I think it's possible Ken could put the pieces together. I don't think he's going to suspect Effie yet, but it's still possible. Seems not that stupid. <laughs> we got a blind spot where it comes to Effie, but he's not that stupid. <laughs> Theoretically. Like I was saying, I think he's gonna romance Noma's daughter. Use her, obviously. <laughs> to get at Noma. I don't know how it's gonna play out yet, but uh it might be the only one he has right now. But at first they tried to take to uh, kidnap her, but um there's only other playoff being to just romance her, Noma's daughter from the inside. They're about to meet this detective guy from the trailer. Now it makes sense why I know so much about the Reek because he's a detective, apparently.
So his name is Detective Carter. I was thinking I was doing the voiceover in the trailer. So this detective lost his wife. Apparently she was murdered. So that's given him the motivation he needs to go after someone to re I don't think he's gonna survive that encounter. Here's what happened to her son, Junior. It looks like he's gonna have a new foil for the rest of the season, or this, this half of the season. I'm convinced Ghost is coming back. That's not the way people are thinking. This is a can move right here. He wasn't too good for her either. Or for you. Yeah. The way <laughs> you just we just took this dude out. It's, that's a Canaan thing right there. I wasn't even that was Kane. Ruthless. Ruthless. Absolutely ruthless. God. Oh my goodness. The ghost, ghost always knew where to draw the line. Since Tariq doesn't hang out with two canes so damn much. Like he's saying in the trailer, he's like, I got to become the Apex Predator. So that's kind of like, I got to be more like Kane and but strategic, strategic like ghost. Ruthless like Canaan. I don't know if it really has any Tommy qualities. Tommy is like a whole other level than both Ghost and Canaan. So, this is probably my favorite part of the episode, just because you really see the path Tariq is going down. <laughs> Jeez, this is going to be a fire season. <laughs> this is, yeah, man. This is. <laughs> Because he hated Andrew. He was why in OG Power Series he took her gun. Took her gun from when they were staying in her apartment. Because he wanted to make it look like crap. Bad he was just being snoopy. Kids do. But this was him shooting during that was a straight up revenge. And I was like, yeah, your mother effed up my life. So now this is payback. So even look at the image right here. That's Canaan type stuff right there. Watching on my tablet. Even when he says to him right before he shoots him, he's like, jeez. Your own angel was the worst fucking thing that ever happened to my dad. 
see you wasn't too good for her either. Both for you. That's my favorite. That's gotta be my favorite scene in the entire entire episode. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Jeez. Why did this guy be last season? He's just now coming turning into a freaking badass. Why did this guy be last season? Now tell me that wasn't the can thing. <laughs> I can see him doing something like that in Raising Canaan. Like he's done stuff like that already. A series premiere of Raising Canaan. So her taking the dude down by the end of the episode. Or was it the middle of the episode? It's like, damn, man. <laughs> Just think about how many more bodies he's going to drop before the end of this part one of this season. 10 episodes, part one, part two, comes back in September. That's like two month break in between. Even the way he delivers the line. Ruthless. Ruthless like Canaan. <laughs> Jeez. Drake could turn into a freaking savage. I thought he was on his way to being the badass already, but. He's got the potential to be what Ghost was, but maybe worse. That's why I keep saying Ghost knew where to draw the line. He knew how to utilize his enemies against him. He was very strategic in how he took on his enemies. Like with Jason McKick in season six, when he no longer had use for him, took him out. Same with the uh, uh, she was the school of Spanish dude's name in season three. I forgot to see my No, Lobos. We didn't have any use for Lobos anymore. The entire time we took him out, then there was that crazy security guard guy that started that followed him when he was save Tommy from those muggers in the drive-by and it's used his uh, street name against him that type of thing so yeah Ghost was very street smart and, and Tariq hanging around can all the time starting to feel those qualities himself and uh, as you can see as I just showed you multiple times he's just he's already turning into what ghost was but he got the potential to be worse in my opinion uh, oh. 
But he's dropping bodies. He's already dropping bodies. And uh, again, him killing Junior is just straight up revenge. He hated Angel. <laughs> For a reason, he shot ghosts because he hated Angel. So. But yeah, that's definitely my favorite scene in the episode. <laughs> Kevin would be so freaking proud of this kid. <clears throat> Savage. <laughs> this is only the season premiere. Just like think about how many more bodies he's gonna drop before we end this part. Part one this season. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. I just can't, man. I can't. <laughs> see what people are saying in the comments. So right here we got, wow, Tariq was pissed when he found out it was Angela's nephew like, again. Yeah. Exactly. The moment he found he was a prosecutor, he's like, all right, you're dead. It's a canon thing to do. Ghost would have found some way. Ghost would never kill him. But no. I got more canned vibes from that.
Someone said it's a stupid myth for Tariq. I'm like, I disagree. As soon as you found out her name, tell him oh, I'm Angela's nephew. I'm like, huh. Just to look at the wrong person, dude. Like, no, you're always worse than your own dad. I wasn't going to do nothing. She couldn't take down ghosts back in the day. She didn't do nothing after her. <coughs> Please. <laughs> it's like, even Kane and this was close. This is why Kane is Tariq. He wants to be like Tariq. But he ain't going to be Tariq ever. Even King would probably have been surprised at what he did. This is why I think Drew's going to take King down, finally. Like, while Tariq was pissed when he found out it was Angela's nephew, that's one word for it. Maybe he just saw 